What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So, in this video, I want to talk about something that happened a few weeks ago, and that is the singer Ari Lennox being arrested in an airport in Amsterdam. And I remember hearing about this, and I think the I think where I heard about it was like a clip from The Breakfast Club. Although I didn't listen to the clip, I just looked at the comments and it seemed like the comments and this is The Breakfast Club and you know they have like a large black audience, but the comments seemingly was like, you know, oh, Amsterdam in my experience was, you know, it's such a great place, you know, they were so nice. Low key pretty much not really supporting Ari Lennox, right? And Ari Lennox claimed that she was racially profiled, which may or may not be true. But what I'm going to do is read through this article that People Magazine posted on their website and just give you my thoughts and opinions about all this as I go. So the title of the article is Ari Lennox Says She's Safe three days after being arrested at Amsterdam airport. Ari Lennox said she was arrested after accusing a woman of racially profiling her in an Amsterdam airport. Now, again, Ari Lennox, she's claiming that she was racially profiled. Um, she, from what I, from what I've gathered, I don't, I'm not sure if she actually goes into specifics why she feels the way that she feels. Um, but let's continue reading this article, though. Um, R&B singer Ari Lennox has given her followers an update after being arrested in an Amsterdam airport. Quote, unquote, from Ari. Hey, loves, I'm safe. Nobody cares. But that's the thing. Does anybody really care? Because I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this story sort of just fell by the wayside. I'm not sure if people were checking up, checking up on her. You know, she claims she was racially, racially profiled. We know that, you know, racism is a thing, right? Because I do feel like if this was like, you know, some mumble rapper, like Little Hoopty or G. Wody or something, I feel like the reaction would be stronger, even if we kind of was like, well, maybe, but well, it could be, it could happen. You know, we don't all have the same experiences, right? And, you know, that's bad for Ari because I think, you know, Ari Lennox is more so kind of like on the, you know, quote unquote, pro black tip, you know, on the pro black wave, so to speak. But I'll get into that a little bit later. Because I have something to say about that. So she says, hello, my loves. <laughs> or rather, hey, loves. I'm safe. Thank you so much for your prayers and love. Ari told her followers on Monday that she was arrested for reacting to a woman racially profiling her. And another message that she wrote on social media, she said, F Amsterdam security. They hate black people. Hmm. What makes her think that, though? I'm not saying, like, that she she's incorrect or that she's, like... What? Because it is an accusation, and folks are going to ask, well, what happened? You know? And, you know, she could have legitimately gone through something, and that's the thing. that This could be legitimate, but I feel like for some reason folks wouldn't take it as being legitimate. Just because of Ari Lennox being who she is, being just a black woman who's not racially ambiguous, who is just, you know, quote unquote, a regular black woman, you know. But she's a celebrity. But, you know, maybe I'm reaching. She also tweeted, I just want to go home. I'll never leave my house again. 
seeing this situation and got her saying she ain't gonna ever leave the house again now. But a representative of the police force spoke out about this and, you know, replied to Ari Lennox's accusation. Okay, let's hear what he has to say. So Robert Van Kappel, a spokesperson for the Royal Netherlands, I'm not sure how to say this part, it looks French, Mar Rechouche. A national police force um, said that Ari was taken into custody after allegedly displaying quote-unquote aggressive behavior toward an airline official and for allegedly being drunk in public. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure about the um, being drunk in public part and how that factors into you know, the laws of the Netherlands, but seemingly I'm guessing that is um, a crime to be drunk in, pub in public as it is in the United States, I believe. But I do want to focus on what they said, aggressive. Because um, People Magazine, they put this in quotes too, aggressive. And the thing is, I feel like when it comes to black people and in this case, black women, I do feel like black women are sometimes viewed as being more aggressive than they than they actually are you know like usually i hate to say it but usually when something happens to black women either like this or something that's like violent in some way a lot of times people's response is a question it's like well, what did she do? You know, what did what did she do? Right? You know, and you know, to be fair, I kind of opened up this video, you know, asking, you know, what happened. Well, I guess I don't think that's a bad question, is it? To just ask what happened. You know, and you know. Why do you feel that, that you were racially profiled? I do think that is a question if someone is truly going to investigate whoever it is. And I feel like that is a question that would have to be asked, right? But, again, aggressive, you know. But, you know, maybe she was legitimately being aggressive. But then again, maybe they were overreacting, you know. Because a lot of times I feel like you know, switch the phenotype around and it's like, well, you know, oh, that's okay. Oh, she just having a bad day. Oh, you know, just let her go on about her day-to-day -day business, right? But this police officer goes on to say, quote, unquote, our unit found a woman full of emotions that wouldn't calm down. Okay, so I'm guessing, well, <laughs> That's why she had to be taken into custody. So full of emotion. So she might have been angry. An angry black woman in the airport. Uh-oh. <laughs> so they uh, put the terrorist alert level up to red at this point. Because a black woman is just going ham in the airport. All hands on deck. We got to neutralize this. That black woman is a terrorist. She is terrorizing the flight attendant, the pilot, the passengers, the restaurant workers, the custodian. She's terrorizing the whole airport, right? <clears throat> um, but local police told CBS News that Ari appeared to be drunk. Mm and was involved in a dispute with both an airline staff member and a security officer. Yeah, it's not a good idea to be drunk in the airport and, you know, it's not a good idea to act, you know. I'm not sure how she was acting before they got to her. I don't know. Um, but if she was acting in a way that is 
seen as being out of order, then yeah, I mean, it's the airport. They do have to maintain safety and they do have to address the situation. I mean, they have to be prepared for any and everything as far as like true actual like terrorist threats and things like that and as well maintain security. Of course, we all know Ari Linux is not a terrorist, but still, they have to treat it that way, though. Let's see. So, the news outlet reported that investigators were looking into possible threats made by Linux, Ari Linux, that were allegedly directed to the staff member and a security officer. So, they're saying she made some threats. They didn't go into specifics about the threats that she made. So, I don't know. Um, but that's the end of People Magazine's article about this situation. And also, um, one of her social media posts said, like, quote unquote, they're arresting me. I'm being arrested in Amsterdam for reacting to a woman racially profiling me. And I'm not sure if I read this or not, but just in case if I didn't, I just want to put that out there. But <clears throat> notice within like the community, I didn't really see much, you know, of a battle cry about this. You know, because I feel like, again, if this was some mumble rapper right i feel like people would take this seriously even if we kind of felt like oh well it could have been his fault he could have really been acting erratically he could have been drunk how molly you know leaning and twirling and popping on syrup right And the thing is, with Ari Lennox, as I mentioned earlier in this video, she seemingly is on the pro-black wave, on the pro-black tip, whatever you want to call it. But I don't feel like that wave is on her, if you get my drift. No. And it seems like If, like Ari, she's not getting support. And the question is, like, well, what what type of a black woman actually gets support in situations like these? Obviously, we know it's not the swirlers, right? You know, the divested um, community or like the swirl world community of black women. We know it's not them that's an easy disqualification right there but when it comes to uh, women like say an Ari Lennox it's like well why is she not being supported though right you know she's seemingly pro-black speaking about about issues um, perhaps um, I know she did speak out about like that situation with Kobe Bryant when he passed away and Gail King asking Lisa Leslie um, kind of like inappropriate questions at that time at least you know and she did that at the expense of black women you know spoke on Kobe hat Kobe Bryant's behalf on at the expense of black women but I guess that's just sort of like, a, I guess, another lesson that Ari Lennox is learning. And also, like, something else, too, because I remember Ari Lennox sort of coming out and speaking about that situation involving um, the baby and Danny Lay, right? And was kind of um, on Danny Lay's side, seemingly. And it's like, well, where is Danny Lay at? That's something that you need to be aware of, too, for, um, like, the women who want to play mammy to non-black and exotical women who are with black men. 
because I haven't heard Danny Lay come out and speak in defense of Ari Linux at all. Yeah. Um, but I do feel like the excuse that the community is going to use is that, oh, just like they did with Michaela Bryan, right? Oh, you have to be responsible for your actions. Oh, you can't just do any and, any and everything you want, right? And they're going to disguise their apathy as responsibility and accountability. Like, oh, you have to be responsible and accountable for your actions. When really they don't care, but that's how they're going to frame it, right? Because what happened to, oh, think about the bigger picture, right? Of course, we all know the bigger picture only applies when it's um, a black man in the mix somehow, right? A black man being done wrong or actually being done um, treated justly, depending on the situation. You know, getting what he deserves based on what he's done, right? But yeah, you don't hear that, you know, think about the bigger picture, right? And a lot of people feel like, oh, it's an isolated incident. Oh, this just happened. Like, it to me, I do see it being somewhat of a pattern when it comes to black women being caught up in, like, legal trouble or even, like, um, police brutality type situations where the battle cry just isn't as strong for some reason. Like, the concern... You know, and the empathy and sympathy, it's in my A. Like, missing in action. Like, can someone, like, can we form a search party to search for them? <laughs> um, but on a positive note, at least her appearance at um, the Soul Train Music Awards... I think that's the award show that she was at. Um, I believe it was, yeah, it was pre-taped. So thankfully that didn't interfere with that. And that's, well, you know, she has a song that's out called Pressure. It seems to be doing relatively well. Although she kind of low-key was sabotaging herself on that. Jump into uh, Chloe Bailey's defense, right? So I think Ari Lennox, she does have some lessons to learn about just giving out just giving so much and not getting much back. And she also has a song that she's featured on um, with Summer Walker called Unloyal 2. I'm not sure if they're going to be making that into a single, but they have done at least a couple of performances of that song together. So perhaps it may become a single. And, you know, another single out there um, with Ari Lennox on it. But this just in, <laughs> breaking news. Okay, so I was able to find out a little bit more about what happened in that, um, you know, altercation um, that happened at the airport involving Ari Lennox. So let's read this. Come on, here we go. Um, so on Monday, November the 29th, KLM reported that, quote unquote, there was an altercation. It was about seeing her, Ari Lennox, her identification. The lady did not show the correct document, Ari Lennox. When the employee confronted her, she drew the wrong conclusions. Our unit found a woman full of emotions that wouldn't calm down. That's why she had to be taken into custody. Right. So I'm guessing perhaps there may have just been a misunderstanding and it just escalated from there. That does happen, unfortunately. Let's see. Nearly a week since her initial arrest, Ari shared an update describing feeling silence. Last Friday, December 3rd, she took this to Twitter saying, quote unquote, my only regret is my my only regret is my reaction to the racism and discrimination I experienced. I would like to explain 
what happened to me, but KLM has made it clear that they never cared to hear it from Jung. It's painful being silenced like this. It's painful what I went through. I'm not okay. So did any like relatively well-known celebrity um, who may be cool with Ari or either just be concerned about, you know, her safety as just a human being come out and speak about this, you know? So I guess that's pretty much it, you know? So I guess that's, it looks like that's what was at the center of all this. Um, but, you know, hopefully, you know, Ari Lynx, you know, is doing well right now. Hopefully she's safe and sound and, you know, being able just to go back to her day-to-day -day life without much of a hiccup. But what do you guys think about all this? You know, I know this video was not the most cohesive video and a bit, you know, all over the place. But nevertheless, what do you guys think about this? Um, do you think Ari Lennox was a victim of, you know, racism and being racially profiled? Do you think that maybe it was just a misunderstanding that escalated into something that was a bigger deal than it should have been. Um, do you think that Ari Lennox received the appropriate amount of support that she deserved? Do you think that the battle cry wasn't as strong for Ari Lennox for one reason or another? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.